So in this video, I want to show you how I got MicroPython working, and I'll walk you through how to write the code and set up the board. So let's get started. For those of you who don't know, MicroPython is a version of Python made for microcontrollers like the ESP8266. It lets you write code in Python to control the ESP8266 hardware. It's easy to use if you already know Python, and it comes with many built-in tools for things like connecting to the internet and controlling pins on the ESP8266. With MicroPython, you can create projects like smart devices, web servers, and sensor controls using Python. So for this tutorial, all you'll need is an ESP8266, a micro USB cable, and a computer. Okay, so the first thing we have to do here is install the ESP8266 uh, MicroPython firmware. So we just go to Google and uh, type in ESP8266 MicroPython firmware. And we can go into the MicroPython downloads. And if we click on ESP8266 in the port right here. Okay, so then we're going to have to scroll down to ESP8266 with one megabyte flash. Click on it. And we're going to have to click on the latest one and download that. Next, what you're going to want to do is open a new tab. And in here, you're going to want to look for Node MCU Flasher. It's going to be a GitHub repository. And this is the program we're going to use to uh, flash the firmware onto the ESP8266. So we're going to go to Win64 release and click ESP8266 Flasher and download it. If you're on Mac or Linux, I will leave a link in the description below to install it. Okay, so now connect your ESP8266 to your computer and then run the ESP8266 Flasher program and it should automatically detect the port. So now you're gonna to wanna to go into config, click the settings icon, click the firmware that you just downloaded, go back into operation and then just click flash. So then what this will do is it will flash the firmware onto your ESP8266 to run MicroPython. Okay, so now that that's uh, flashed onto the ESP8266, you now need to download and open up VS Code. All right, so once you're in VS Code, you need to go into the Extensions tab in the left side panel. In here, you want to type in PyMaker, that's P-Y-M-A-K-R, and you'll need to install the official version right here. So this PyMaker extension basically allows you to interface with a NodeMCU device, and then you can flash any files to it, including your Python code, and it will run that. So once it's installed, you need to click on this PyMaker icon on the left and click on Create Project. Now I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call this ESP LED Flasher and click on Use This Folder. Right up here, it'll ask you if this is the project name too. Just click Enter and click on empty and yes. So now as long as you have your ESP8266 connected to your computer, it should pop up right here. This is the Silicon Lab CP210X on COM3. Click that and click OK. And now you can see it pops up down here in the devices tab. So in this devices tab, you need to click on this lightning bolt to connect it. And now, as you can see, it is connected to the computer. And if you go into uh, the File Explorer tab, you can see that there are now two Python files. So the boot.py file, as shown by the comment, runs at boot up, and the main.file runs after that. So with that, now you have MicroPython set up on your ESP8266. So I just want to demo an example for you on how to flash the LED on the ESP8266. So to flash the LED, we're not going to need boot.py for now, but inside main.py, what we're going to need to do is import two modules first. The first one is pin from machine. So we type in from machine import pin, capital P. So in the next line, we need to import the time module. So import time. Then after that, we need to initialize the LED. So uh, LED equals pin and the onboard LED on the ESP8266 is pin 2. 
And then after that, you need to type in pin.out, all uppercase. Then on the next line, we need to create a for loop. So for i in range 10. We need to set the LED to high. So first LED dot high, then wait uh, about half a second. So time dot sleep 0.5. Then set the LED to low. So LED dot low. Then again, time dot sleep 0.5. And with that code, you should be able to flash an LED. Now to flash that code onto the ESP8266, you need to go back into this PyMaker module. And then up here in projects, you will see your Silicon Labs CP210X. If this doesn't pop up, just click add device and then the Silicon Labs will pop up. Once you've done that, you just need to click on sync project to device. And once you click it, it should sync the project and then go into the three dots and click hard reset device. Once you do that, the LED should start blinking as you can see right now. So there you have it. You've now successfully set up MicroPython and an ESP8266. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description below. But with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.